Did you know there's a bug that's basically a living nightmare? Yeah, you heard that right. Forget spiders, forget aliens. Behold the strip Ziptera, the real horror show. These little freaks are so bizarre, they make your average sci-fi monster look like a teddy bear. So, what's the deal with these bugs? Well, for starters, they're parasites. Not the cute, cuddly kind like in Finding Nemo. No, these guys are the kind that invade other insects, live inside them, and basically turn them into zombie hotels. And the wildest part, the males and females have completely different lifestyles. Like, completely different. Let's start with the males. These dudes are born to fly and die. That's it. They hatch, grow wings, and then spend their entire adult lives which lasts about four to six hours and flying around looking for females to mate with. And how do they find these females? By sniffing out their pheromones. But here's the kicker. The females are basically just sacks of eggs living inside other insects. They don't have eyes, legs, or even a face. They're just there, and they stick their butts out of their host's body to release pheromones like some kind of insect booty call. When the male finds a female, he doesn't waste time, he stabs her with his equipment and injects his sperm directly into her bloodstream. Then he dies, that's it. His entire purpose in life is to find a female, mate, and then peace out, talk about a one-track mind. Now, the females, oh, they've got it even worse. They're basically just living egg sacs. They don't move, they don't eat. Well, not directly. They absorb nutrients from their host, and they don't even have a proper body. They just sit inside their host, growing babies, until those babies are ready to burst out like something straight out of Alia. And when I say burst out, I mean it. The babies literally eat their way through their mom's body and then explode out of her, ready to find new hosts to invade. It's like Chestburster, the bug edition. But wait, it gets weirder. The babies, once they're out, have to find a new host ASAP. They crawl around, find an unsuspecting insect, and then melt their way inside. Yeah, they just dissolve to the host's exoskeleton and slip right in. No trace, no evidence, just a bug with a new roommate. And once they're inside, they start growing, feeding off the host until they're ready to repeat the whole horrifying cycle. Oh, and here's the cherry on top. The males and females often infect different kinds of hosts. Males usually go for ants or bees, while females prefer grasshoppers or cockroaches. So, not only are these bugs nightmare fuel, but they're also picky about their real estate. Maybe being born as a human isn't that bad.